Well, we're here today at uh, our Burbank Fuel Cell Hub um, to talk about what's going on with Project Driveway. And Project Driveway is the world's largest market test of fuel cell electric vehicles. So we had uh, Charlie Fries out here in LA visiting with a bunch of media, some journalists, and now with some of our former Project Driveway participants to explain to them what's next. The biggest difference between the fuel cell system that's in the vehicles right now and the fuel cell system that we saw today is the size, the efficiency, and the cost reduction that it will take to make it commercially available. So it's, a, it's about um, a third of the size, about a third of the weight. It has 62 fewer parts and 90 fewer moving parts. And moving parts is the key because when parts move, they tend to wear out faster. And so just the fact that it's so much more compact, it's so much more efficient, um, really shows what we've learned and the engineering advancements that we've been able to make from the current generation. Today, it's, it's been uh, pretty exciting. We've talked to the press, we've talked to some of our project drivers, drivers of the fuel cell equinox vehicle and it's very interesting because we got to hear the feedback from them as well as bring them some of the news of what we're doing on the vehicles and at the same time we're, we're handing over the keys to this vehicle which is the fuel cell uh, Chevrolet application that we're working on right now and uh, as, a, as part of the extension of project driveway. This car is actually really nice because the only emission from it is water. Depending on where the energy comes from to produce the hydrogen or where the hydrogen source is, um, it can be very, very green or it can just be an improvement in efficiency from our fossil fuels. But the beautiful thing about it is I can actually enjoy driving knowing that I'm not contributing to air quality problems, I'm not creating a more demand for fossil fuels, um, and the air coming out of the car is actually cleaner than the air going in. The system that we saw today, the what we call the Gen 2 fuel cell system, it can be ready for commercialization by 2015. So that means basically all we need to do now is figure out what sort of vehicle we want to put it into, and away we go.